Hey guys, it's Robin, and I've got more Star Wars Force Awakens pops. I'm really excited that they came out with some new pops from the Force Awakens as a second wave. Um, two of them are exclusives. One was in the um, Smuggler's Bounty, the Chewbacca, the Flock Chewbacca, and the Han Solo Snow Gear was in um, my Loot Crate. But I've also got Princess Leia, Nyan Nub, Han Solo, and Merle Akbar, and I also have a cameo by Darth Vader. It is the metallic Hot Topic exclusive Darth Vader who, you know, kind of does have a little cameo in The Force Awakens. Not metallic, though. Not really anything. Um, but, you know, he kind of is there in spirit and, yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to spoil things for you, but he is definitely a force in The Force Awakens. Um, let me get these guys out of their boxes and I will be right back. Okay, so here are all my new Star Wars Force Awakens Funko Pops. Um, they did have new packaging for the Force Awakens movie. There's red labeling and um, there's a rebellion. No, it's not a rebellion. That's a Galactic Empire symbol, I think, in the back there, that little starburst. Um, this is the second wave of Pops, so <clears throat> they also make this guy Sidon, Ithano, and Varmic, and I'm kind of upset about that. They're kind of just background characters. I don't know why they needed to be Pops. I mean, maybe some collectors like having stuff like that, but I would rather have a character that's in the movie like General Hux um, as a Pop. I mean, I'm sure they'll make him eventually. Um, you know, something I just realized, we're up to number 84 in the Star Wars series. I wonder how many I have. I mean, if some of the, I don't have all of the con exclusives and I don't have Jar Jar, but I do have almost all the rest. So I really wonder how many I have. Um, the, some of the Force Awakens ones also came with this little postcard advertising Smuggler's Bounty, which is really cool. Um, $25 a month, you get exclusives from Funko. It's very cool. Um, I just opened that up a couple, days or weeks ago. I don't know when I'm putting this one up, but I'll have a, maybe I'll link at the end so you guys can see that. Um, let me just show you the Vader box, which is a little different. See, these have a Starburst background and they're blue and Vader is number one in the series. And, um, you can also see <laughs> that some of these guys look a little bit younger in these versions, Han and Chewbacca even, and Leia all look really different, which I think is really cool. So who should we start with? Let's go with my one of my favorites, Han Solo. So here he is looking kind of older. Look at the graying hair around his uh, ears there. That's a really cool detail. He's got like these bags under his eyes, which is Funko's way of saying he's old. Um, the Star Wars Pops are also all bobbleheads, which is another reason why I keep them in the box. They're one of the few series I do keep it in the box. Um, really like all the details, these little buttons and pockets and his buckle. He even has like little rivets on his strap here. Um, his little blaster holder. That is so cool. He's got his blaster. And Han Solo is just amazing. Harrison Ford was so great in the movie. Guys, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but um, if you have seen The Force Awakens, comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part. Um, Han Solo is so awesome. This is the other version of Han Solo. And he's got the same boots and pants, but he's also got on his jacket because he's feeling pretty cold out in uh, <laughs> in uh, Starkiller Base. And I really like that blue. It's got like a little hoodie. He is a really cool little pop. I was really surprised to see him in um, Loot Crate. Very cool. Exclusive. And I don't mind having two. Um, I think there's only... There's the original Han Solo. The... Um, Hoth Han Solo. Then there's also some con exclusives. It's like hit, they made him and Luke in Stormtrooper um, outfits with the helmets off, which is pretty cool. So that guy's pretty awesome. One of my all-time favorites, Han Solo. This guy here, I'm really glad they made him a pop. This is Nyan Yup. I hope I'm saying that right. That's always how I say it. And I think, I think he's an Aqualish. I don't know if I'm getting his species right. I'll put in what it really is right here. 
Um, and you might remember him from Return of the Jedi, where he is Lando's co-pilot when they go and blow up the second Death Star. And he's back in Force Awakens. He has a cool cameo. And he's now an X-Wing pilot. That's hopefully not giving away too much. Um, a lot of cool detail on his uniform too. Like even these little ridges on his gloves are pretty cool. And I think he definitely looks a little older too. Like he's got some, I mean, I guess he always kind of looked like this, but, um, I think they kind of just faded their colors and stuff for these older characters, the hair and the fur, maybe even his skin. Um, I think he is really cool, awesome character, really glad to have a different character in the mix and somebody... Oh, I think it's awesome. Now, you might say he is a background ca character, but I don't think so. I think he had a, a bigger role before, and, um, you know, it's cool to see him again in this movie. Speaking of another character who I was surprised to see is Admiral Ekbar. It's the trap! He does not say that again. That's another spoiler. Um, there was an Akbar, an earlier version, and I believe also his color is a little bit different. His uniform has changed over the years now that he's with the Resistance, and he looks pretty cool. He is a Mon Calamarian, and I love the eyes on him. That is so awesome. He's just meant to be a pop. Very, very cool. Love, like, these details. Look at his little, like, I don't know what you call those little spiky things. So cool. He's a great, great character. Admiral Akbar. Is he still Admiral Akbar? <laughs> yes. On the box. It's still Admiral Akbar. So awesome. And then here is my Chewbacca from the Smuggler's Bounty Box. And he is very cool. He is a lot um, lighter in color than the original Chewbacca. And Chewbacca actually had a really great part in the movie this time too, I think. He was really cool. He's got his bow caster. And uh, one of my favorite moments in the movie was when Han Solo tries out the bowcaster. And he's like, this is cool, or something like that. It was really funny. Um, it's like, really? After all these years, you've never fired it, Han? <laughs> um, funny story, too. I was hanging out with my niece, Maddie, today. And playing her the Chewbacca sound on my Star Wars app. And she was just cracking up every time. I love that she finds Star Wars so amusing. He's got his little, um, band, what do you call that, a bandolier or something? His little pouch. He looks so cool and he's so fluffy. It's awesome. And I am always, always happy to see Leia as a pop. So I'm very glad that they made a new General Organa. And she looks quite lovely. And I thought Carrie Fisher looked really lovely in the movie too. She's got on this blue dress she has towards the end and look at that hair she always has such great hair Leia um very cool it is also faded in color but she's awesome she's got some earrings on and she's just she's she's amazing she's still amazing she is you know older and wiser and has been through a lot and um she just wants her family together and that's pretty much you know kind of the whole um deal with Star Wars A Force Awakens. Leia wants her family <laughs> with her. And, well, I'm not going to tell you what happens with that. But always really glad to see her. Um, they did call her Princess Leia on this box, not General Organa, which I think would have been cooler. But, I don't know, maybe they're just going with whatever they called her before. And finally, ooh, he just I just dropped the base. That was really loud. Here is a super cool metallic Darth Vader. I just think Darth Vader looks so cute as a pop. He's so adorable. Love the detail in his costume. He's got his lightsaber. And he actually feels really cold because it's kind of cold here. And the metal, the whatever material this is, I don't think it's really metal, but it actually feels really like cool to the touch. Um, he's just really shiny. I don't know if you guys can see, but there I am. Hi, in the reflection. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. I don't know if you can see my droid shirt. I'm actually wearing a Star Wars shirt. Um, <laughs> but I love the red lightsaber, and I love all the shiny gloriousness that is Vader. So cool. So here are all my new Funko Pops from The Force Awakens. I've got Han Solo, and Nyan Yub, and Admiral Akbar, and the Han Solo out in the cold version 
and the furry Chewbacca and Princess Leia and also Darth Vader. Um, I will also try to put in a link to my first wave of Funko um, Force Awakens figures so you can see those. Comment down below and let me know um, which one is your favorite. And let me know if you think I should get these other two figures. I don't, I don't know. I mean, this guy looks really cool. This guy looks like some kind of werewolf from some other movie. He looks really cool, but I don't think I need them. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, and let me know what other characters you think should be Pops. I really like General Hux because I kind of think he is so crazy and cool, and I really like the actor who plays him. And I really want a Maz Can Kanata. That would be awesome. Very cool. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will like this video and subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And it would be really, really awesome if you hit that subscribe button because we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers soon. Um, and may the force be with you. Bye.